now in with the news from Bahrain Television. Good evening. A car exploded near a mosque in the southeastern city of Dammam today, killing four people. Quoting a statement by the security spokesman of the Minister of the Interior, the Saudi state news agency SPA said the attack targeted worshippers in Al Anud Mosque during Friday prayers. The agency said that security forces became suspicious of a car park near the mosque, which exploded as they walked towards it. It said one of those killed is suspected of being the driver, adding that security authorities launched a criminal investigation and a a detailed statement will be issued later. While well, the Kingdom of Bahrain condemns the terrorist attack which targeted a mosque in Dammam, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and claimed lives of a number of innocent people affirming that this terrorist deed contradicts with human and moral principles as well as with the values of all divine religions and the instructions of the Islamic religion. It warns that such terrorist act aims to ignite sectarian and religious sedition among Muslims and drag them into a bold subversive conflicts for all. While Bahrain presents its condolences to the families and relatives of the victims, it hails the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud, in combating terrorism regionally and internationally, loading the efforts exerted by the Saudi security forces which prevented terrorist crime against people performing Friday prayer. Bahrain affirms its support for the brotherly kingdom of Saudi Arabia and back up for all the steps it takes to let security and stability prevail nationwide, asserting that Saudi Arabia's security is an integral part of that of the Arab and Islamic nation which necessitates a united Arab stand and an international solidarity to uproot terrorism, a dangerous plague that was a threat to all countries and peoples without exception or discrimination. Also, the chairman of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed El Mullah, condemned the terrorist attack which targeted Al Anud Mosque in Dammam. He affirmed that terrorist attacks will not succeed in targeting the harmony and unity among the Saudi society and its standing of the Saudi people behind its leadership, represented behind the custodian of the two holy mosques. Mr. El Mullah added that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and its government and people stand side by side with Saudi Arabia, highlighting that it its security is part of Bahrain's security and any attack on Saudi Arabia is rejected and will be combated through full cooperation and coordination between the two countries. Mr. El Mullah describes such act as a terrorist one that contradicts with human and Islamic principles and aims at sedition. He emphasized on enhancing the national bond among society and not to allow the terrorist group to achieve their bad objectives. He affirmed that the Council of Representatives totally condemns such acts that contradicts with Islamic values and human law and expressed his condolences to the families of the victims. He loaded the efforts of the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques in combating terrorism and endorsing any measure Saudi Arabia takes to protect its interests and that of its people. The Shura Council also condemned the terror blast which targeted worshippers in a mosque in Dammam and claimed the lives of a number of innocent people. The Shura Council reiterated its full pledged support to Saudi Arabia and its brotherly people in facing the blatant infringement on it, their security and the targeting of houses of worship which is rejected by all human principles, the tolerance of the Islamic religion and the genuine traditions of the people of the region. It expressed confidence that the dangerous and responsible plots targeting innocent people as well as the Saudi people and its unity, stability and security will fail. The Council urged preachers and scholars to be the safety valve of society through guiding people and denouncing the heinous acts of those who adopted violence and intimidation as means to undermine the country's security, destabilize them and put their social fabric and unity at risk, describing the actions of the saboteurs at treason against the homeland and a deviation from the principles of the Islamic Sharia, which stresses the preservation of human life and property. The Council extended condolences to the custodian of the two holy mosques, the families of the victims and the Saudi people, praying to God Almighty to rest their souls in eternal peace, grant the wounded speedy recovery and bless Saudi Arabia with lasting security and stability under its wise leadership. <laughs> 